So far, we focused on how our eyes fixate on individual targets to maintain gaze stability. We know how to use saccades to find a target, our ocular reflexes to move our head around a stationary target, and pursuits and vergence to follow a moving target. But what about when there are multiple objects moving in and out of our field of view, or if the entire world changes around us? There's one more piece to this ocular puzzle. If our surroundings are quickly changing because we or our world are moving, our brain needs to be able to maintain a clear image of the moving environment. Our brain accomplishes this using the optokinetic response. We use our optokinetic response to stabilize gaze when our world is rapidly changing around us. For instance, when you're watching a train go by, or when you're sitting in the car and watching the utility poles go by, or when you're spinning around like at the teacups at Disneyland. Let me show you what the optokinetic response looks like. Watch as I spin in this chair to my left side. Notice that as I spin, my environment is continually changing. More specifically, as I spin to the left, the environment moves the opposite direction to the right. Now, watch my eyes as I spin. You'll see that my eyes continually drift to my right in the direction that the world moves before snapping leftwards back to the center. If I spin the opposite direction to the right, you'll see that the direction of my eye movements changes as well. This combination of a smooth pursuit in the direction of the moving environment, followed by a quick saccade back to the center of your environment, is your optokinetic response. Your body relies on the optokinetic response to orient you to your environment and to maintain gaze stability as your environment changes. We frequently exercise the optokinetic response in our rehab programs. Sometimes we may use a rotating chair to accomplish this. Other times we'll use a video, like this, with red lines constantly moving in and out of your view. The direction that the lines move will dictate the direction of your optokinetic response. General optokinetic exercises can be performed either to the right, to the left, up, down, upright, down right, up left, or down left. To get the maximum benefit out of optokinetic stimulation, it's important that your line pattern takes up as much of your field of view as possible. Ideally, these exercises will be performed using a large screen or virtual reality glasses. We actually don't recommend that you practice optokinetic exercises without instruction by a specialist. The direction and speed of optokinetic stimulation really matters, and practicing the wrong type of optokinetic stimulation can make you feel really awful. If you've been given a specific optokinetic exercise to practice, look out for your fatigue signs. If any of these symptoms come on during your exercise, stop immediately and rest. Just try again at your next session. Watch out though, sometimes these symptoms might hit you minutes or even hours later. If you experience symptoms immediately after starting, you might not be ready for these exercises yet. See your specialist for more help. Optokinetic stimulation can be an extremely powerful tool in neurological rehabilitation. If you want to find out which optokinetic exercises are right for you, let us know. We're happy to help. Thanks everyone for watching. This is Dr. Perman. We'll see you next time.